And now, Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. Ten rounds, middleweights going at it. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Vicious's unpredictability belies his ring walk focus. He is ready for action. Ferocious is showing. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. That's a serious power punch he just landed to the head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Not able to land the headshot. trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Comes back with an overhand right. Close the gap. Ferocious is defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Hey, focus on the inside. Nice work. Nice Comes work. with the right. Scores up top with a left. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Ferocious. <laughs> Able to dismiss it. Boy, sharp two punch combination by Ferocious. Final ten seconds of round number one. What an excellent two punch combo by Ferocious. That last round really damaged him. Ferocious's face does not look good at all. You can see his corner trying to tend to him. Yeah, they're tending to him a little too late. What about in the gym? What about in training camp where you got to teach a guy, move your head, don't get caught so you won't look that way. Maybe they didn't do their job. Vicious's combination punching is working well here. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. Vicious is proving to be elusive. In and out, in and out. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. You gotta love the offense there, putting his punches together. That's just good, solid, accurate work by Ferocious. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Well done that time, landing the counter punch. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice job doubling up the jab by Ferocious. Vicious' right hand scores well that time. Showing you some defense there with the block. Flush right hand to the head. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Ferocious is hitting the mark right now. How precise was he there with that three-punch combo? Well, he's got a bloody nose there, which means that he could be swallowing some blood, which could cut his wind in his lungs and affect the later parts of this fight. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. 
Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Ferocious is... He's got nobody to blame but himself. I mean, he got hit much too much in that last round. Well, he was throwing his punches from too close. He's given up his height. You're throwing from that close, and you're going to get counted over it. If your opponent wants to do that, guess what? His opponent wanted to, he had the desire to do that, and he took advantage. Able to cover up that gut. You gotta protect yourself. He just missed that shot up top. Landing two jabs by Ferocious. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Oh, hands up, hands up. Good block by Ferocious. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Vicious is doing well here with that two-punch combination. Punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. Ferocious is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Good block. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Stay on the inside. Solid hook. Solid uppercut. Ferocious is almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Hey, keep your hands up. I agree. So as we start round four, we reflect on the first three, looking at Teddy's scorecard. Vicious has earned good marks, taking all three rounds. Yeah, not eventful some of the rounds. Not a lot to separate the two guys. But I think that his jab has carried the ball. What a big shot. Not a good sign. He goes to the canvas for the first time tonight. One, two. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be OK. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? One, two. Great movement to get away from those punches. Ferocious is opponent is having a field day, Teddy. That left hand lands again. Well, he keeps moving the wrong direction. He needs to move away from that punch. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Big shot. Oh, and he goes down again. The question is, can he rise up and continue on? Two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Punches together, good combination by Ferocious. Vicious his movement really helping him out, avoiding that punch. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Ferocious. Vicious is able to land a good, solid left hand. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just 
You just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Ferocious is coming out to fight this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, any idea? Do you think he's recouped enough here? Well, we're going to find out very quickly by looking at his legs. You're going to look downstairs just like you look downstairs in the basement of a house to see whether or not those bricks are in place or whether or not some of the mortar has kind of disappeared and the bricks are a little loose. You want to see if those legs are stable if they're firm. Comes right back at him with a left hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. You're close to him. Well placed, straight right hand. This is what they worked on in training camp. Another good combo by Ferocious. Ferocious is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Vicious is doing very nicely on the outside here in this fight. Ferocious is just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. Well, you can just mark down another round for him there with this accurate, precise punching. How does his opponent escape from that? You got to use feints. You know, feints is really the Achilles heel to timing. I mean, you, you feint him and you throw his timing off. You let him think something's coming, and guess what? It's not coming. Relax, breathe for the champ. Deep breath. The start of the sixth round. Vicious is going to just try to keep doing exactly what he did the entire first half of this fight. He put forth a game plan he noticed early on in training camp, and it's worked to perfection. Ferocious is not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what had come back at him. Vicious is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He missed with that headshot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Ferocious is in a bad place right now. And bang and away he goes. He just went down. The infighter went out. And now he went down. Hey, it's okay to go out, but go out the side door. He went out the front door, and as you said, maybe he's paying the ultimate price. <laughs>